Hello and welcome back to the Coffee Vanners. I'm Alan. I'm Ali. And this is April's YouTube collaboration. So what I'm going to do is first of all stick up here. There's going to be a reel of all the channels that are taking part and there's some great channels taking part in this month's collaboration. So please check out the playlist in the description and go and have a look at their channels. Give them a like, give them a subscribe. It all uh, helps their channels along the way as well as ours. Yep, definitely. Right, so this month we're going to be talking about five reasons why we bought our caravan and and to be honest we we are an exception to the rule i can really tell you the first reason why we <laughs> bought this caravan <laughs> we bought this caravan during lockdown we'd never seen it before no we rang around the country looking for we, them we saw jewels and Karina and Karina do a video on it that's, that's from, what we went off yeah another that's another channel here we tour Jules and Karina go and give them a like and a subscribe do a great great videos yeah. and 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 the video that they did was from the 2020 motor show a uh, caravan and motorhome show at the NEC and it was when this particular caravan was released by Eldis so uh, that was uh, we had a conversation on Twitter she stuck a link in we went and watched her video and thought she sorted that that ticks all the boxes and you'll what see for the five reasons why we uh, ended up with this caravan so from our knowledge and still to this day from our knowledge the Eldis Avanti 454 and the Compass Casita 454 are the only small couples caravan that's available with a island bed. And this is transverse island bed, yes. isn't it? Yes, definitely. Now, just as a quick background, before we had a Bailey, uh, Orion. It was one of them beds where I had to climb off you. Yeah, it, that's it. It had a French bed in it, so we had we had a choice. If you were tall like me, you needed to be by the window, which meant your feet were up against the wall. And if you were small, short, like it, me. you were on the bit where the cut-off side of the bed was. Now I found the side by the window too short so we swapped over and then of course you're climbing over each other in the night to go to the loo or yeah. uh, because i get up at silly hours of the morning if i was by the window i was climbing up at uh, climbing over alley and, and all sorts of things the french bed just didn't work at all did no it, it didn't work <laughs> so the fact that this has a transverse island bed was th th that was box number one, one well and truly ticked yeah, wasn't it definitely and i can walk around it while it's pulled out yeah. to go to the toilet on a night so definitely so because ali is a short ass uh we don't need to put it into day mode it literally sits in usable mode all the time doesn't it yeah definitely which is absolutely fantastic the second reason that we bought this caravan was the l-shaped lounge wasn't it yes we like to be close together we, yeah we do we tend to sit together when we're in the house we sit on the same settee uh we don't we don't well we do we do split up but uh when, when but we're when away we're relaxing it, in that we yeah, like to be together. together yeah yeah and so the l-shaped lounge for us was a better idea than having uh a set of drawers in the middle and two bench seats and a telly that was a million miles away and all the rest of it because uh, we've got a small telly, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, so it so it was just that was like the second box we had to tick. L shaped lounge. Brilliant. Uh, I love it. Yeah. The the third thing that was really important to us was that we could fit it on the drive. So whilst we could have looked at one of the Buccaneers, which has a transverse island bed and L shaped lounge and and all the rest of the stuff, they're all too big for the drive. We couldn't fit it on the drive, and this fits literally on the drive within within an inch of its life. It fits on the drive, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, and we didn't want to be putting ca the caravan in storage. We wanted it where we could make a decision to say we're going to go away, and we'd just pack it up and go away. Yeah or want a break from each of them just chuck the other one in the caravan yeah and it, and it has actually worked over lockdown when we needed to isolate yeah because you've had to isolate a few times we've actually it? we've actually used the caravan as like a a, gra a, a, gra a granny flat haven't we yeah so uh that was that was number three uh, the, the fourth one which was real which was probably higher up the list than i've put it here these are in no particular order was that we could tow it with our car 
because at the time we only had a 1500cc Renault Kajar, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, the maximum towing weight of that car was 1500 kilos. And this caravan is maximum. Yeah. 11. The maximum permissible laden mass on this caravan is 1500 kilos. So, so we we basically were. That was another constraint we had to we had to think about. God love her. She could tow her, but she couldn't pull her up hills. <laughs> and I think that's something that's a real consideration. It's not the maximum permissible. It's the maximum practical laden mass. That the car said 1500 kilos. I know the recommendation is 85 percent and all that, but I think even at 85 percent, that car would have struggled, wouldn't it? Definitely. It just wasn't, because we don't load this caravan to the hilt by any stretch of no. the imagination. So if we we're like travellers, really. Yeah. So if even if we'd, had, you know, the, the car just, well, it wasn't up to the job, was it? No. We thought it would be, but it wasn't. No. Flats, brilliant. Hills, no, no. No. I should have been. We, Ready Flintstone and put my feet out to give it that bit. Yeah, the, the very first trip we went away with, we went over to Kirby Lonsdale and we were coming, heading back was basically over the A65 towards Kendall, then up the motorway to Brough, uh, to, to T Bay, yeah. turn over, over to Brough A66 back, and we, we, we get on the, the M6 heading up Shap Fell, and there's a crawler lane. Uh, for lorries, in the crawler lane for the lorries, and, and the lorries are overtaking us. They're going past us like we stood still. Cars in third gear were revving it as hard as it'd go. And they, don't get us wrong, it got us home. It, it did the it job. Did the job. Uh, I dread but. to think what the mile per gallon was. It was probably you know one. <laughs> it was all four, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> so that was that was the fourth consideration, and the fifth was when we decided we were actually going to buy one. What I did was I started hitting the phones and of all the people that were advertising a 454 as being in stock but this was just before Christmas 2020 wasn't it? It was in lockdown, uh, yeah. we were in lockdown. Uh, so a lot of the caravan places were actually closed so we rung our local one. Uh, Didn't answer the phone. phone. Uh, we then rung one in Derbyshire. Didn't answer, answer the, the phone. phone. Uh, another one uh, down in um, I think it was Gossips, the Cots didn't answer the phone. Yeah, uh, Cotswold Caravans uh, couldn't get in touch with. Everybody no. was. It was like a Christmas period, and everybody was. When was it was kinda... after Christmas, it was late January when we started. When you think they would be answering the phones, but no, no, I'm not answering my phone. There was uh, there was nothing. Everybody was closed because of the situation. So we and we did actually get one answer from. Uh, Robinsons. Yeah. And they actually had two, and this was another thing, we we wanted them where they were in stock, we didn't want to have to order one, uh, because we knew they weren't getting built, so we were, when we were ringing round we were looking specifically at places that had them in stock, and, and we, f we found t two at Robinsons, one in Chesterfield, one in, was it Glossop, the other branch? Anyway, they've got two branches, uh, and they'd got one in stock, so we said, right, we'll have it, and that was it, wasn't it? We, we didn't know what it was like, what the interior was. We knew it was a special, so we knew we had a lot more stuff on it. But God help poor Lee, the salesman. Yeah, we we had him running backwards and up up the yard, didn't we? Yeah, backwards. Uh, every, and every every time we got a, got a question about the caravan, we got on the phone and said, "Can you go and check? Is there a socket here? Is there a plug? Is there a USB socket there? Uh, is there a light here? What, what's I think you've had the shoes out. Yeah, what's the what's the size of the of the actual washroom is it going to work for us and we were trying to work it all out over the phone and over the internet because all we'd seen was the pictures uh, what uh, Jewel had done yeah we'd seen the video that Karina had done and Jules uh, and all we then got was the website that uh, Eldis had done sort of for the sort of 360s and things like that and to, to be quite honest that 360 cameras are great and I've got one myself but as far as getting an idea of perspective they're absolutely bloody hopeless. That that fisheye lens, the look, makes everything look so much wider and longer and uh, not, than it actually it's is, not. doesn't it? It's not, I mean, we've given up a proper shower for a wet room. Yeah. But the wet room works for us. I would sooner have my wet room and my bed 
what I've got, my island bed, then go back to the other bed in a proper wet room. I love this. And I won't let Alan sell it. He keeps saying should we sell, get something else. No. <laughs> he loves it as well, mind. He's just working. Stick it with me. And yeah. I keep looking at the new unicorns. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but there we are anyway that's the reason how we bought and ended up with our absolutely fantastic Eldis properly this is the Eldis Avanti 454 Sherwood special edition dealer special but name her properly go on what's our name we call her right this is Elsa yeah this is our Elsa wouldn't have her anything else and I love it a bit yeah. So on that point, like I said, this is part of a collaboration. Back up here is all. Sorry for put finger in front of your yeah. face there. Uh, we'll we'll stick the reel up there so you can see all the other channels. Link to the playlist will be in the description, and please go and check them out. Uh, if you like the video, please click like, consider subscribing. All all the look, all the other stuff that helps the channel along. Really appreciated. Thank you very much. Thank all, you. All we've got to say is, you take care, you stay safe, and as always, we will see you in the next one. Bye. Ta -da.